This playthrough is rated T for teen. Do you want to save the world with the power of friendship? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volnar are here with a Let's Finish This and it's blue, uh, blue light. Uh, wait, what was the title again? Sorry, Blue Reflection Second Light. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, it's kind of like how memorable this title is. And yeah, I, I know I'm doing a Let's Finish This, which means I played through the game. But uh, well, we'll get, we'll talk about the game as we go through it. First, let's build the uh, transportation object to get to the final dungeon of the game. どうしたの何かあったいやその入り口装置を作るにあたってゆうきちに協力してもらってるんだけどさ確かにゆうきちゃんのフラグメントは微弱な糸が伸びている気がするんだけどこれを装置に利用するにはちょっと弱いんだよねどうやってこのつながりを増幅しようかってゆずと話し合ってたところ調べられていますなるほどもう彼これ1時間くらいこうしてるんだよ私疲れちゃったよ助けるためなんだからもうちょっと我慢してもっと何かオリジンとのつながりを強められるようなものがあればいいんだけどつながりを強めるかああるかもつながりを強められるものほら前に消滅気候を倒した時破片が学校に残ってたでしょあれを装置の素材に組み込むとかどうかな消滅気候確かにあれは世界システムからの攻撃だからありかもやってみよう All right, looks well, like we have to build now. Build the device to get to the final thing. So, yeah, this is a blue uh, reflection second light. This is a direct sequel to the first game. Um, for those of you who haven't played the first or second game or first game or this game, then obviously there's going to be spoilers in it. Um, although you're not missing anything crazy, but you know just to be aware of it. Uh, basically, this game is a magical girl RPG for all intents and purposes because all the cast are female. Um, it's all about them you know, using emotions and friendship, very little drama outside of some minor situations. But anyway, uh, one thing in the game you can do here is uh, craft, which is similar to Gust's other games in the series, the Atelier series, where you build and stuff through the Atelier, and they kind of kept it onto this game as well. They even make a reference to one of the Atelier games and some of those uh, mini stories that they have and stuff like that so yeah we'll just choose one of these doesn't really matter and uh, put the same together and yeah every time you build something usually whoever's in the group they'll have like a little musical montage of them doing something silly and they're like we did it and and they basically give all the girls the same facial expressions no matter who you choose uh, well it depends on which order you choose them but they'll all get the same facial expressions so anyway we constructed the origin gate したんだよねはあ長かったお疲れ様これでようやく準備が整ったねそっかまだゴールじゃないんだよねでもようやく見えてきた あのひなちゃん何ゆずとライムひなちゃんに言わなきゃいけないことがあるんだライムたちは顧問の番人それはこの世界でも最高築後の世界でも変わらないだから世界が再構築されたら
ライムたちは待ってひなちゃんその先は言わなくていいわ<笑>かってた今この時が奇跡なんだってことくらいひなこさんゆずライムまさか青お,お願い今だけさ昔のままの3人でいさせて<笑>ひなこさんがそう言うならありがとう大丈夫たとえ記憶がなくなっても2人との思い出は私の心の中で生き続けるこの思い出が私の心を温かく照らしてくれるほらせっかくみんなで前を向いたんだからそれなら私は最後まで笑顔がいいなうん分かったいよいよだねうんじゃあ改めて手順を説明するよ。この装置にみんなのフラグメントを捧げるそして私たちの世界を再構築するっていう一つの思いに集約させて勇吉の力を借りてそれをオリジンまで届ける<笑>キララたちにできるのは祈り信じることだけ。要領はアオチンの心トープを開いた時と同じけど今回思い浮かべるのは元の世界のこと平和でなんてことない日常を過ごす自分たちの姿それじゃあ始めるね。したのいいよ思いが送り届けられてないそんな失敗した私のせいそうじゃない道を開くところまではうまくいってる思いがまだ一つになりきってないみんなの中に小さな迷いや葛藤不安があって一つの方向を向けていないそのせいでオリジンまで思いが届かないんだ迷い葛藤不安ちゃんと決意したはずなのに。こればっかりはどうしようもないよ自分の心を完璧にコントロールできる人はいないゆずたちの中にだって多分そういう不安があるだろうからどどうすればいいの葛藤を解消するそれができれば話は早いけどこれは心の問題だから。に言えば私たちが一つの方向を向ければ思いは届くかもしれない
そういうことだよねそれはそうかもしれないけど私の中にも迷いがあるきっとそういうものに向き合わないといけないんだねえゆずライム今この中ってどういう状況なのオリジンへ向けてゆずたちの思いを捧げたそれが途中で止まっているような状況だから道の途中で思いが滞留してしまっているそんなイメージかななら私たちが直接中に入って流れを正してあげることはできないかなええー、そんなことしたらゆずたちもどうなるかわかんないよまあ今に始まったことじゃないってそれにフラグメント引っこ抜いた時の方がよっぽど怖かったよそれを言われると弱い私みんなのことをずっと見ててさこんなことで折れるみんなじゃないって知ってるんだ<音楽>きっとその迷いってのもかすかなもので少し背中を押せればそれでいいと思うだから最後の一押しやってみない<音楽>ライムは決めたよあおちゃんについてくるうーんええー、まあ、迷うゆずも覚悟決めるしかないみんなもそれでいいのねリーダーがそう言うのだならそれを信じてついていくだけはいチームは信頼関係が大事ですから今までだってあおちゃんと一緒に頑張ってきたこれからだってそうだよみんなありがとうしまっていこう a l right it's time to hit the 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 final bit Um, I think you can go around the school that we're at,、uh, or Oasis, or whatever you call it. And I think there's still some requests and stuff like that you can do with the girls. But I'm not going to do that. We're at this point. So、uh, we're going to head into the, the final dungeon, and then I'll talk about the characters because most of it's going to be combat up to the final boss. So if we go into this thing, we can choose the final area of the game and、uh, possibly save the world. I guess we'll find out. に捧げた思いそれがうまく届かず滞留して空間になってるんだひと言で言い表すとすればここはみんなの心トープみんなの心トープ心の歪みが形を成した姿うんあれを通しながらこの世界にあるはずのみんなの思いを探す心とぶってことなら話は早いよそうだねみんなの心トープもすごかったし心トープに来たらまずは歩き回る慣れたもんだよになるな探索班行こうみんなの思いを探しに。Alright, time to explore the final dungeon with the exploration party, like they said.
それってココロン台座に触れてみてそうすればきっと自分の思いと向き合えるからうん教えて、私は何を不安に思ってるの<笑>本当に成功するの<笑>それにこの世界での記憶がなくなったら。もうみんなと会えなくなっちゃうんじゃないのそれが不安なんだね思い出してこれまでのことをこの世界でたくさんの時間を過ごして私たちは強くなった。私とみんなのつながりはそう簡単に切れたりしないだから大丈夫本当に。この雫世界から抜け出して思いをオリジンに届ける準備ができたその合図なのかもしれないねそうなんだねなんだかちょっと寂しい気もするなじゃあこうしてみんなのフラグメントを探して自分の思いと向き合うことができればうん思いを届けられる今度こそ最後の少年場みたいだね Looks like the rest of the dungeon is just us literally looking over our emotions.、Uh, the girl we just did was Kokoro. She's the, like, the super nice girl that it, she it doesn't like conflict, that type of thing. And then her thing was finally being able to. Ask for help, not so much stand up for himself, but ask for help other than rely on the same people, but other people as well.、Um, yeah, she's like the super nice girl, she's the T H I C C or plump girl.、Um, so, you know, kind of the super nice, but her, when she goes into battle, if she unlock,、uh, she, if her either form unlocks, she wears like a almost a BDSM outfit, which maybe relies someone different for underneath, you know, the typical nice girl, but is actually a bit more, you know, aggressive or whatever. So, I guess each one of these, let's look at the dungeon here. So, I guess I, each one of these is for the girls. So, there's probably not going to be much conversation for me. It's going to be the girls like getting over whatever last little emotions that have kept them in this place forever so they can remake the world. So, let's see who's next、uh, on this.、So. That looks like it's a puzzle switch. So, it switches to the next location. So, all right. I'm just gonna avoid most of the combat here because any combat I want to have is for the final.、Uh, I was about to say, can I go wrestling? 
Um, I want to save all the combat for basically the final boss of the game. Uh, the combat's pretty straightforward. It's like Grandia, where uh, it, there's a everyone's set on like a mini timer, and you can affect the timer by like hitting people at the right time or using certain abilities and stuff like that. Um, overall, I don't know why I found the Grandia system to be a, bit, a little bit more faster. And not that this game's confusing or anything like that. It's just uh, I don't know. Not I don't know if intuitive is the word I'd use, but. I'll admit, the game was kind of a slog for me to get through. I kind of, I probably should have stopped a while back, but I, I was like, eh, you know, sunken cost fallacy. At some point, I felt like I was, in, I, I put a little bit too much into it. I'm like, you know, I better finish it off and see. And for the most part, it hasn't really made, improved my demeanor to it. Although, I'll admit, the girls' personalities kind of started rubbing off on me, and I started like, oh, that's funny or silly. The game's never straight out loud funny, but it's more like maybe a chuckle or like, oh, that's a funny situation because you know all the girls are teenagers so they obviously think things a bit differently than adults would so uh, maybe the simplest things maybe make them go a bit crazy while others are just like oh, we fix it easily with our missions but hey, let's go to the next girl hereこの世界を離れれば、ゆずとライムにはきっともう会えないのに。それでも本当に私の答えは変わらない。離れていても会えなくても私たちは繋がってる。だから私は前を向くことに決めた。弱いな、私も。あんなこと言っておいて、やっぱりまだ悩んでるんだ。でも。she's left the group uh hinako was the actually the main hero from the previous game uh, blue reflections won and apparently her actions caused the whoops i don't want to fight anything here but i can actually run for the fight you just oh can i not i thought you could run away from these fights oh there it is i was about to i probably had to get a turn before i could run away yeah the game almost i think you can never run away from fights unless it's a uh, or you can always run away from fights unless it's like some boss or something like that, which is nice. I always I always found it annoying in some games where you couldn't run away. I mean, I know why in the old days it was like a challenge and then, you know, if you couldn't do it, you had to redo the whole thing, so extended play time. But in this game, they're just like, oh, you don't want to fight it? Nah, just run. It's easy. It's automatically guaranteed. But yeah, she was a hero from the last game. Her actions of defeating the boss in that one ended up causing... Uh, the world almost be destroyed and an oasis to be formed, which the world was going to be destroyed anyway. They, by defeating it, they kind of, they sort of semi prevented it, but Hinako blames herself for that. Uh, also, her thing was she was a ballet student and then she suffered an injury that uh, basically almost permanently stopped her from dancing. So her thing was really trying to find something to do outside of ballet, even though she'd been doing that her whole life. So it was one of those types of stories but obviously she takes a back seat to the main character Ao or Ao or Hoshiz Hoshizaki or whatever she's the main character in this one and yeah it's always weird when a main character takes a back seat to a uh, a new character in, in a series I don't know just something odd about that just the way it plays like you think they would stay the main character but they kind of explain this game because everyone who join goes into Oasis loses their memory so they have to remember who they are by going through the heartscape so it's up to Al to uh, take charge and get them to that um, because she's the only one who still has her memories which we find out that her memories might be either fabricated or too recent because when you go into her heartscape um, all her memories are fairly recent not old oh and the reason all the girls are in swimsuits is because you can change their outfits from their schoolgirl attire to swimsuits and I was like yeah, why, why not save the end with their swimsuits on so there's that um but that's pretty much the only reason 
I was like, I'll just change up a bit. Uh, trying to think what else to say. I was going to talk about each character after after we uh, unlock their little uh, story blip when they when they leave the chat. I mean, it seems like every game nowadays references uh, um, you know social media and stuff like that. I kind of don't like that. <laughs> And it doesn't make it, it almost doesn't make it like, I don't know, universal or eternal or whatever. It, it, it sets it in a certain era. That makes sense. Oh, do we have to have fight certain bosses? Ah, oh, come on, man. I don't want to fight anything in this finale. Ugh. Just let me go to every single location. I can beat this guy really fast, too. I'm at, like, I'm at max level, you know, which is 50 in this game, which I wish I could go higher just so I could beat things quicker. But, oh well. We'll just go through the fight, I guess. I guess I could have cut it and just showed the final boss. Yeah, see how at the bottom there, how everyone's moving on a certain table, but they can only move so far depending on what their ether levels are, or their gear levels are. Their metal gear. No, uh, just their gear level, and that allows them to do different attacks and abilities, or they get stronger if they do that. There's also a combo system, which the higher the combo, the more damage you do. So, like, it's at times two, for example, so we'd be able to do double damage to whatever we normally um, do in that form. And so you want to get super high. And if you can get to 15 and you've unlocked either tide, you can do a super, super duper special attack. No, I almost beat these guys without, this guy without taking major damage. But if I had been a little bit quicker on it, I probably could finish him off. But I've got plenty of healing items and really it's not a big deal. I'm probably going to wreck the main boss too. I've heard some people say he's a little tough, but I really doubt it. Oh, yeah, there's their outfits when they change. Yeah, I see uh, Koriko looks almost kind of BDSM-ish. Uh, main character, her big thing is that she always thought she wasn't special, and then she comes to this place and becomes like a leader and everything. So, you know, typical teenager whining about... It kind of reminds me of the Care Bears Alice in Wonderland cartoon for some reason. But anyway...自分が特例中の特例でここにいることわかってる私は死んでるのみんなとレナと一緒にいられること自体が奇跡なわけそれなのにこれ以上の奇跡が起こると思うおとなしく死んどけばこんなことにも悩まずに済んだのにきついな私の性格もっと他に書ける言葉あるでしょういいかよく聞けよ私死んでないから悩めるんだ生きてるから苦しめるんだ たまには逃げたっていいでも今はダメだ私はこの不安も全部飲み込んで未来に行く見てろよ私をよみがえらせたこと後悔させてやる I guess she was yelling at herself to be better. Um, Yuki, her thing was in her real life, she got suffered a disease called Ash Syndrome, which was, I guess, a result of the gods trying to destroy humanity. And she died before Oasis was created, but she was brought back by the uh, uh, gods to basically be a spy. Oh, it's a treasure chest. She was brought back to be a spy to try and infiltrate the Oasis on the inside so that way they could finish destroying humanity because uh, I guess the gods or whoever couldn't get into Oasis because of the um, the, the girls there so there's that <laughs> um, oh yeah and uh, she's also in love with the one of the girls uh, Rena, Rena, the tall one uh, they had a relationship before. well actually it wasn't fully utilized because she died before they could do it but the idea is they were in love with each other or possibly and then in this world they became uh, partners, which the annoying thing about it is they always hang out together, and so anytime your character tries to um, hang out with them or talk to them, it always feels like she's a third wheel, kind of like when 
if you have two friends in real life and they get together and then all of a sudden every time you want to hang out you always feel like you're you shouldn't be there because you're messing with their time it's the same situation that's kind of awkward you're like ah, should, can, should i just go you know you almost want to say stuff like that but i mean not that they shouldn't be a love or anything it's just one of those annoying things where you're just like Ugh, well, like now i have to be in the middle of this middle of this group now but uh, I was I was wondering when I was playing the game I was like I'm surprised because we hadn't gotten to that point but I was like I was surprised they didn't have at least one one female like lesbian couple in it I was you know I was like you know with all this cast of characters you think at least we're trying to do all these different personalities you do at least one group of them would be like oh okay we're we're actually in love with each other Although, you're not sure if any of the other girls are for sure. They kind of joke around. They kind of mess with each other and make jokes about that, but they never actually straight out say if any of the other girls are like that. Only Rina and uh, Yuki for sure. Okay, apparently I need to mess with that like device in the middle to adjust it or something like that because I'm not unlocking any other locations. I can't really tell until I get there if I've, uh, if I've unlocked a new uh, area or something like that. I guess I could go. Cause it looked like there was a place to go way back here at the entrance. Let's see if that does anything. I haven't actually played this level. Sometimes I'll pre-play areas before I record just to kind of have an, an idea of what I'm doing, but I didn't actually pre-play this, so I haven't actually know. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to. I'm so I assume I'm just supposed to mess with the. Uh, oh, this needs to be unlocked, doesn't it? Yeah, see, I can't even get over there. So, all right. Let's flip, let's flip that switch again, because that's the only other thing I can think of that we can do. At least I didn't notice any obvious um, changes other than flipping that thing in the middle there. So let's see what happens if I do that. Maybe I should have started the recording right before we head in the dungeon this time instead of the stuff at the beginning. But I wanted at least some context with what... We were, unless there's a... Unless there's these more of these switches that I pressed here that are available and I'm just missing them. Uh, which is quite possible. So let's see what that one did. See if that moved any any of them around enough to or where I could uh, get past them. Okay, so at least I can get past this one this time. Let's see. What was I gonna say? But Yuki, uh, I don't think there was anything. Oh, and apparently I can't even get up there. There must be a switch somewhere I can do to to change that or something. Oh, okay. Slide. Whee! <laughs> I don't know why. Just them sliding down there and getting excited kind of kind of pulls out that whole teenager aspect or whatever. Yeah, like I said, like, at first I was kind of just, like, bypassing. Well, I wasn't. I was, like, quickly passing through dialogue, but I was generally looking over it just to make sure I didn't miss any story information. And I kind of started getting uh, attached to the... The, the girls and their personalities. You know, at first you kind of think, oh, they're teenagers, whatever. And then, But the way that they look and think about things, it, it kind of like, I don't know what the word to say is. It just kind of, kind of, I was like, oh, I, you could kind of get their quirks and how they act to the things and how they treat stuff. So the only problem, I, well, there's a lot of problems I have with this game. One of the problems I have with this game, though, is like, they have some dark themes, sort of, but then they never go far enough with some of the characters in this game. Like, I, I think the idea is that this is supposed to be more of a, you know, obviously more for teenagers or maybe even a female audience. Maybe some male audiences, depending if they like these slice of life type of stories, which this is, this game kind of reminds me of a slice of life anime, which I don't really watch those. Um, but I, I get the appeal of them, you know, people just trying to survive day to day and just the little weird intri intricacies of, of relationships and stuff like that. But even though this is supposed to be a magical girl RPG, they try to put that in there as well. But that made more sense in the first game, from what I understand, because they were at school while fighting demons. While in this game, they're isolated in Oasis, where the world has been destroyed, and they're the last remnants of humanity. And I don't know, it just seems kind of weird that they're all about, like, let's make a pool, yay! And I'm like, is that really appropriate, like, tonal issues? Oh yeah, the game has a weird obsession of focusing on, pe on the girls' butts every once in a while, so it's like, there you go. I'm 
成功するかもわからない作戦にかけるよりここで幸せに暮らした方が確実私ならわかるでしょなるほど実に私らしいことを言ってくるでも違う私と勇気が出会えないそんな不安はもう捨てる絶対に会う作戦も絶対に成功するだから私が選ぶ道はここだあまり私と勇気をなめるなよ Uh, Rina is probably my favorite character in the game. One, because she's tall, but two, she's like one of those characters that seems to be the most put together and then not. Like, she's the. Apparently, she's supposed to be one of the smarter characters of the group because I guess all are studying and she acts as a teacher to everyone there, but she's also the most. Like, it seems like she's put together because of that, but then she'll be scared of, like, ghosts and. Get embarrassed like super easily, and all the and like when people find out like she likes to draw fan art and stuff like that, she's like,、oh. I don't know, just it's just her reactions are just pretty, pretty entertaining to me personally. That's why I was she's probably my favorite character.、Uh, I tend to like the girls that are like either strange or like just completely different from the norm, I guess.、Uh, we'll run a question to the favorite here in a second, but yeah, Rene, Rena, sorry, was a.、Uh, Obviously, in love with Yuki, and then found out when she had Ash's disease, she trained or she studied as much as she could to try and see if she could fix Ash's disease. And obviously, Yuki died before she could,、um, but that was her big thing. But anyway, next girl. Origin, you want to be a son of a. キララは一番理解しているはずだ神とはそんな簡単な存在ではないと分かってる分かった上でそれでもやるキララはみんなに会いたいこの世界のみんな元の世界のみんな全員と新しい世界に行く Yeah, she's, she's my second favorite character because she,、uh, she's basically the typical, like, weird girl that talks about, like, you know, ghosts and stuff like that. So it kind of freaks people out. They're like, well, what are you talking about, lady? You know, that type of thing. I think, oh, I, I was gonna check on that thing. But I don't know. I, I, like I said, I like the strange characters that are just weird and different.、Um, I think she also likes writing fan fiction, I think. And apparently, that's the one thing that embarrasses her when people find out she writes fan fiction, which I would laugh too if I found out you ran,、uh, wrote fan fiction. I'd be like, ha,、huh, loser. No.、Um, well, depending on the fan fiction, it can be kind of cringy. I've read some, although, depending on how you feel about modern storytelling, a lot of it feels like it's fan fiction, but. That,、uh, at least if it's in your own home and you're writing it just for a pastime, like, that's fine. It's just if you try to publish it and it's like, oh, it's this awesome thing, I'm like,、eh, I don't know about that. But anyway, just, but yeah, I, I like her, like her character because of just how weird she is, different, you know, different from the typical, like, going shopping, you know,、uh, you know, you know wearing,、uh, you know,、uh, dolling up and stuff like that. So anyway, her big thing was that she was. When she grew up, she could always hear voices, and people thought she was weird, and then they found out she could、uh, talk to God. But, but the weird, they thought that it was believable because she could predict the future. So the whole thing with her was、um, you know, just she helped out her local town and her dad, who was, the,、uh, who was running for a political office, I think it was,、um, just telling the future. So I would go to her, you know, give tidings and stuff like that. And then one day,、um, The mayor's, I think it was the mayor's kid or whatever, broke uh, like a, a, a major, like, kind of religious artifact in the village. And,、uh, and she knew about it because she could hear the divine. 
And so they wanted her to lie and say it was like her friend and said, I think it was Yuki as well. In this case, all the girls except for Ao are tied into each other for the most part. They all have like some connection to each other. And anyway, she decided not to rat her friend out. So she told the truth and got in big trouble but, uh, about that. So. Because they wanted her to lie about it to save face, so that she could do the truth, and she chose friendship. And, uh, and yeah, just standard stuff like that, but I like just the fact, like I said, she talked about, like, ghosts and everything like that, so casually, and all the girls just find her weird. She's not the, I don't know if she's the weirdest character, but she's definitely up there, because she's just, how she acts about stuff. This guy's actually hurting me. My goodness. I know it's actually, maybe perhaps we should have uh, finished this guy off. I did Okay, so I guess I, I gave the game credit that they're, it's doing more damage to me than, than I expected. But we still beat him, so. And I've got, like I said, I've got like a million, like, rice ball healing items in the game, so. Yeah, it's still not, not much, even though I was taking damage. I guess I should swap out my, my support at this point. Maybe swap out to the healer. Uh... Because the support, what they do is that there's a support circle on it, and every time it makes so many rotations, depending on what skills you have unlocked, it'll um, activate a skill. So in this case, I have her, like, um, uh, ca uh, combo rates hit if it hits seven cycles. But a lot of times I'll beat the enemies before I even get there. So let's switch to... Let's switch to Rina. Well, Rina or Shino would be good because they're the healers of the group. So I need to swap out our fragments really quick because... Um, to swap her to, to support fragments. Let's uh, do that really quick. Uh, type. Oh, actually, I could just filter the specific thing, which is support. Whoops. Okay. Um, let's see. Activation. Activation. Heal. Okay. Yeah, just activate. Oh, that's three ring. Oh, let's see. That should be fine. We'll, support. we'll do that one. Okay. And her thing is that um, is uh, her f most of her deal with uh, with healing. Let's see. Um, boosted stats. The there it is, the healing one. And I could also swap her into heal too. I think she knows something like that too. Let me check her stats. Uh, actually, hers heals more often. And it takes less time. So, actually, I'll, I'll swap. Her out. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was forget. I forgot. Rena, Rena uh, heals more, but it takes longer to, to have hers set up. So yeah, we'll do. We'll do Shino instead. So sorry. I should have had this already ready to go. I don't know if we want this one. Oh, that's right. She doesn't have all her abilities. Active. That's why I didn't use her because of that. So well, actually, we can just do. Because the healing one will auto the the minor heal one will activate automatically, so I don't mind that one too much. Uh, okay, that's fine. All right, let's uh, see who the next girl is too.
All right, so Shino's big thing is she was, it, it was one of those cases where she's one of those helpful people that she kept, was having to, uh, I don't know if I'd say forcibly, but she kept getting pushed into working at her uh, family's shop to uh, to make sure standing, so she didn't really have much freedom of her own. And at some point she finally said, hey, I've got to, I've got to do my own thing. Yeah, I'm helping out my family, but at some point I've got to, I've got to head out into the real world, something similar to that. So um, she's kind of one of the two homemakers of the group. Her and Mio are like that. So they're the ones that kind of try to get people together or teach them to cook and all this other stuff. So without them, obviously, the group might have fallen apart sooner because none of them could cook or clean for themselves, you know, that type of thing. I guess I can go this one to the other side. Um, Shino, unfortunately for me, was kind of forgettable for the most part. Uh, I guess I tended to, to remember the, the weirder characters more than the, the ones that are actually pretty normal. The only one I kind of didn't forget was Kokoro because she's, I guess, the first one you run across. And she's your typical kind of like super sweet girl. And you're, you know, you always like, you always either knew someone like that or wanted to know someone like that because you always want someone who is super nice around while people are either super pessimistic or whatever. But. Yeah, and two other two other things about her because she's got huge she's got a two huge personality traits about her. You know, two huge personality traits. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to these other. Ones. Do I need to push this one over as well? Probably, or do I? To, oh, maybe on this side. Oh no. No, oh, I guess we can just. Oh, we're pulling it. All right. I'm not sure how that's working. Well, the power of feelings, right? And all that, all that fun stuff. At least that's the way I understand it. And it's a magical girl RPG game. You gotta just, it's all about feelings and stuff like that. Oh, the only one I could think that was different was there's a famous anime apparently about magical girls that like starts off like a magical girl anime and then like a few episodes in or maybe it's halfway in like just completely changes like goes off the rails on us あの Alright, those are the sisters. Uh, they, um, I think Mio was technically a sort of uh, kind of villain, sort of, in the in the previous game. And then uh, when they were all reflectors and stuff like that, or at least something happened to where they were at odds for a bit, because I guess she wanted to protect her sister so badly and then became, she became more antagonistic because of that. Uh, so what would, can I move? I can't move it because I'm still missing and obviously, I shifted that to create like a walking pillar. Maybe there's some there. Maybe there's a spot somewhere where I can land on top of this or something to uh, to get to that point. Either that, or I have to go back to this one side. But I guess we'll find out. Hope I didn't miss miss something on the way. It feels like I I have missed something. Hmm. Like they're missing. Well, maybe I just have to go back around or something like that. I don't know. Let's see where we did. Yeah, let's try it. Maybe going around now we'll fix that or something. I assume I don't want to push. Oh, there's a... Oh, that was that there before? Oh, huh. All right. 
Maybe I had to do that one thing and I unlocked it or something. I don't know how you flung me all the way over there, but okay. No, do I want to? I guess I do want to push this back. Is this another case of me being jumped up there? Oh, yep. I guess maybe I just missed that. I guess I didn't see that. Yeah, the power of magic and feelings and all that. Yeah, realistically, I'd probably be gagging every time I heard that, but I'll, I'll forgive it for for this game for a while. Just I think it's just because I'm older, so I'm a bit more cynical. So let me guess I have to fight this. Yep, you're required. Not a shark man or something like that. There, some of these bosses, maybe they have reference to the girls' personalities or their... Or their um, you know, neuroses and stuff like that, but I haven't really, no, I haven't really seen a specific, like, thing that points out, oh, this means this, and then, I think they're just supposed to be monsters that encounter, like, demons. Not like Persona, where, you know, you fight the shadow, and you're like, oh, this represents, you know, narcissism or something like that, or, you know, whatever. It's like this game tries out some symbolism, but it never really goes too, like I said, it never goes far enough, because I guess they don't want the themes to be super heady, or something like that. These guys are starting to do. I'll have to actually maybe look into my uh, uh, stat builds and see and just uh, uh, touch everything up before the finale. Because for the most part, like everything up to this point, even these bosses really aren't doing that much damage because there are abilities I can do that can heal me via crits or I can use items to heal, so it's not. But it is, I think it is supposed to be meant to be an easier RPG. Slice of life slash, you know. Magical girl. And actually, I'm not even. I don't even need to grab the treasure chest. I'm not building anything else for the rest of the game. So, because yeah, you can build buildings and stuff like that. And it, what it, they do is they improve their faculties and they improve like your stats and stuff like that or facilities. And some will either give you more experience or you know improve your damage or defense and stuff like that. Um, so it's an interesting concept to try and mix and match and see what's the best way to go. But really, all I did was put a lot of the attack stuff on. Or turn on the high attack, low defense to you know high risk uh, builds to try and get through fights faster. But ねえ、今私たちが理想の世界を作るって強く思えばそうなるかもしれないと思わない。面白いことを考えていますね。でしょ。まあ、あなたは私なんだから当然だけど。私たちは作り直すんです。愛とか夢とか優しさとか。そういう私が嫌いだったものが溢れる。あの世界を。ま、うまくやりなさいよ。何を言ってるんですか？私たち2人でやるんです。